Hey guys, so today I decided to do a what's in my bag video. Um, since I haven't been making videos because I've been so busy with dancing lately, I decided to make a dance themed video. So I just made a video for you guys showing you guys this look because this is what I wear to my dance competitions and stuff. So I decided why not show you guys what I carry around in my dance bag. I'm not sure how many of you guys are interested in this type of video because it's not like this is a dance channel or anything, so I don't know if you guys really care too much. But if you are interested to know what I carry to recitals and competitions and random performances, keep on watching. So my dance bag is currently packed right now for a dance recital. Um, it's tomorrow, but I have a dress rehearsal today, so it's all packed up and ready to go. So I'm just going to show you guys what I have in it right now. So this is the bag that I bring for anything dance related. I bought this at um, the Totes outlet. There's outlets near me and there used to be a Totes outlet. They sold like luggage and umbrellas and rain boots and stuff. So when they went out of business they had this bag on sale for like 10 or 15 dollars. So I bought it because it's zebra stripe and that's perfect for me. So it's really big and it's the perfect size for um, anything I need whenever it comes to dancing. So first of all, um, my costumes for the most part aren't in there they're not in there I usually keep them in these dust covers because some of our costumes come with these cases for our costumes so I'll just take just one of them and put all my costumes in there unless it's like a pants and shirt costume then I'll put it in the bag but if it's a dress I'll just keep it in one of these and I'll just put them all separate hangers but all in the same bag rather than bring a separate bag for every single costume so I currently have two costumes in here I'm not sure if you guys are interested but Here's a picture of one of them, which is the dress you're seeing. And then, um, if you want, I'll just insert pictures of me in the costumes later on in this video. Just because I really don't feel like putting them on right now, and I feel like if I just show you guys, it's not going to look that pretty as unless I was actually, unless they were actually being worn. So, I have two costumes there, and, um, yeah, so now I'm going to go into my bag. This is so much more difficult than a What's My Purse video just because I don't normally hold this bag on my lap. It's so big. So anyways, there is... Maybe I'll bring it down so you guys can see it better. Wait, what am I doing? I don't know if this makes it any better. I don't know if that really helped much. I don't know. No, I don't like it because now I can't see the screen. <laughs> okay, so there's a giant compartment on top, a, a giant zipper on top, I should say, and that's to the main compartment. I'm just going to pull everything out at random in no particular order. I'm just going to reach in and pull whatever's in there. So I guess first I'll get the clothes out of the way, I guess. So here I have some yoga shorts. And um, I actually have these in here because at our recitals we always do a grand finale dance and usually they don't really care what we wear in them. Um, we just kind of wear either our last costume if our last dance was close to the ending or we'll just wear our recital t-shirts because every year we get a special t-shirt for the recital and we'll just wear like yoga pants or something. So I bought these shorts, well I packed them for that reason but then this year they decided to change to actually um, give us a dress code for the performance and I just found that out like two or three days ago. So these are still in here but I also keep them in here because um, if... I am performing one dance and then my next dance is a long time and I have a lot of space in between and I don't feel like keeping my costume on because usually I'm really hot at these dance events. I'll just throw these on in a t-shirt or like I'll just put it on over my tights or something because they're easy to take um, to take off and put back on. So like if I want to eat or something I don't want to be in a costume I can just throw those on really quickly. So I have those in there. And then this is our recital t-shirt from this year. Um, I don't want to show you guys the whole thing just because the name of my dance school is on it and I don't really want to give out where I am located. So I'll just show you guys like the bottom. It says on your toes and that's the logo that they chose this year. And then in the back it just has the names of all the dancers. There's my name right there. <laughs> that's me. Okay. So... Moving on, I also have two pairs of colorful leggings because that's what they wanted us to wear for the recital for the Omega Grand Finale dance. So I'm not sure exactly how colorful they want them to be, so I'm just going to bring them to rehearsal today and let them choose what they think would look better. Because they didn't want solid color, they just wanted something printed, so I have two pairs for that reason. I'm just trying to get all the clothes out of the way because I feel like that's the least exciting part that's in here. I don't know why, I just do. 
So also I have a black tank top because that is to go with the leggings. And it's actually the same tank top but in black. I bought this at Walmart the other day. They're $3 and they're so, so soft. If you guys have a Walmart now, you check them out. Like these are so soft and nice. So yeah, just a plain black tank top. And that is all the clothes, I think. Okay, so now I'm just going to go in a random order. I have a hairbrush. Obviously, we have to constantly touch up our hair at these things, so I have a hairbrush. For when I'm brushing it back for this style in particular, I'll just brush it back. If I had to wear a ponytail, I'd need it for that too, but I'm not wearing ponytails for this recital, but same concept. Um, these are my jazz shoes. Um, there's a name for them, and I forgot the name of them. They're like jazz slip-ons or something. I don't know, but it's, it's a really, really soft shoe. It's has it's like it's hard under here by the balls of your feet and also has a little tiny little heel right there and then all in between here it's literally just elastic and then it's leather all around here so it's just a really soft shoe and it's for jazz so I have those I have a comb for sectioning my hair like if I need to go over and flat iron or recurl anything I have a comb for that reason and then of course I have hairspray for if I have to go over anything uh, which reminds me, this isn't in here right now just because it's hot and I just used it. But this is the curling iron that I use to put these curls in. Well, in my real hair. I have extensions in. But on my actual hair, I curl it. So I bring that also because, like I said, it's always really hot at these events. Like back in the dressing room and I'm always sweating my hair out. So if I need to put curls back in for any reason, I carry that with me. And then I also have a flat iron here for the same reason. But I don't think I'm going to need a flat iron for this event, but I'm bringing it anyway. Even if I don't use it, it'll always be there to help somebody else out. Like, these things, we always need some sort of hair tools back there. I have another brush. This is a vent brush, a different kind of brush. And this is, I just have this for brushing out these curls, because I don't want them to be this tight when I'm dancing, because it looks too neat and pretty, you know? I just have them in right now, because I don't want them to fall too soon but when I get there I'm gonna brush them out so it just looks big and wavy because that's the look I'm actually going for. So next I have this crop top slash sports bra um, that I wear for hip hop. It goes underneath the top that we're wearing so I just have that in here. We always have to switch around our undergarments depending on what um, dance we're doing. Um, this is my other costume in here. This is the top for it and I keep it in the bag that it came in because it has sequins all over it but if you guys are interested this is the top and this is for jazz the jazz um, dance we're doing and then these are the pants to it they're just black and it has stripes on the bottom um, they really don't go together that well it looked better in the magazine when she ordered it but no one really liked the put together but it is what it is we already have them so these just fell out of my bag so I'm just going to show you guys these are my paws, and um, if you guys don't dance or you just don't know what these are, it's just like a little foot thing, so it's like a little mitten kind of thing for your foot. It has four holes in it, and you put one toe through each hole, but your two little toes go through the same hole, so that's why there's only four holes, and it's made out of the same um, nylon that you make stockings out of, but it's a little bit stronger, but it rips just as easily. And then it has a little pad on the bottom under the balls of your feet. It's really just to help you with turns. So it's like when you're dancing, any dance where you'd be barefooted, you would wear these. So you could still do turns and stuff on the stage. And they're really, really tiny. <laughs> they look so funny, but they do stretch out when you wear them. But it really only covers the balls of your feet. That's pretty much it. So I have those in here for that reason. And that's for um, Lyrical. I'll be doing a dance barefooted, so we have those. I have my tights in here. We all wear the same dance. I mean, we wear the same tights in the studio. Well, like the same color anyway. And this is supposed to be a flesh tone color, but not not exactly on me. But these are the colors we have to wear. And these are, some people call them stirrups. Some people call them convertible tights. But anyways, they're not footed. But it has a little hole that your heel goes through. And then this would be on the bottom of your foot so basically if I'm wearing these and the paws this will stop where the paws begin on my foot if that makes any sense but I love these tights because they're so strong and durable I just I love them so much I just wish we could have actually gotten colors that match because on some people it's gonna match and on other people it doesn't so I wish we had more of a variety to choose from but I guess it's just easier to just make them all 
just tan so everybody who wears tights wears that color unless they're like little girls and then they wear pink ones for like ballet and stuff anyways that's that and wow that's almost i'm almost done with this already i felt like i had so much more stuff in here but the only other thing i have in here are my combat boots and this is for hip-hop and i keep them in a plastic bag because i've actually worn these outside so i don't want to dirty anything so but yeah they're just Simple combat boots. They're actually kind of heavy, and I wish I had lighter ones. But when I bought them, it was actually for dance last year, and I forgot that combat boots aren't something that you find throughout the year. So I waited until this time of year last year to find them, and I couldn't find them anywhere. And this was the only pair that I could find. So they're really heavy and not the most comfortable for dancing with, but it is what it is. And I mean, I I get it done. It's not it's not too bad, but I would have just preferred lighter weight ones. Like some of the other girls on the team, they have lightweight ones. I would prefer those, but I would just want to buy them. I'm not going to buy another pair cuz I really only wear them for dancing. I don't normally wear them out just like that. Um, that's pretty much everything. I have a pair of socks in here, and I have that to go with the combat boots. In fact, I'll just stick them in there. But yeah, I just carry those socks because I wear socks when I'm wearing the boots. And the only other thing in here is this piece of paper, which one of my dance teachers made up. She just um, made a list of all of the makeup she wanted for her classes. So I really only need it for this little section right here, because this is the class that I'm in that she has. So it's just our makeup set list, basically, but it's, it's this. Every dance I'm in, this is what I'm wearing. Luckily, I don't have to change makeup. So that's everything that's in the main compartment. Um, besides that, I normally have... Honestly, when you open my bag, what the first thing you would see is food. You would normally see a full pack of Oreos and then some other sort of candy and some other snack. You'll see two or three bananas, um, a bottle or two of water, and then some other drink, which is usually iced tea. I usually bring a ton of snacks because these events are always so long and you don't want to eat anything heavy for obvious reasons. You don't want to go on stage with a full stomach. So it's just easier to snack throughout the day so I don't feel like I'm hungry and then I just get a real meal when it's all over. So I always have a ton of snacks in here. I don't have any in today because I'm just going for rehearsal. I'm not going to be there all day, but tomorrow our show is like four to five hours long. So I'm going to need something to eat. Same thing with competitions where they're all day and you just gotta gotta stay <laughs> hydrated and you gotta eat. <laughs> so I always have a lot of snacks in here. Also, besides that, I also I would normally have my phone charger somewhere in here too. So I think that's everything that I'm missing that would normally be in here. But anyways, I'm gonna go into the side pockets now. So on the side on this side. This is like equivalent to my purse because I'm not gonna bring my purse with me when I'm already lugging around this giant bag. So I just put what all the um all the things the necessary things that I usually carry in my purse would be in this pocket right here. So I have my wallet, which is so old I've had forever, but obviously I need my wallet everywhere I go. And then besides that, I just have hand sanitizer just because that's what would normally be in my purse, and also my keys. And that's it. So this is actually where I would put my phone charger if I had it on me right now. So then on the other side, I have the same type of pocket. And in here I have a claw clip, a hair clip for my hair. So I can have my hair up throughout the day when I'm waiting to go on stage because like I said, it's really, really hot. So I need to put my hair up. So I have that. Um, I also have lotion because I just need lotion in my life. I'm literally addicted to wearing lotion. It's like a nervous habit. So I just need, you just need lotion. Like, and not just for that, but just good to have lotion on you. Like, you wanna, you don't wanna be ashy all day, so have lotion. Oh, this, I forgot what's in here. This is a bedhead manipulator. Um, it's like a tacky, um, fiber wax for your hair. And I use it to, to like, hold down the, um, the flyaway pieces, so I just put that in my hair for that reason. I use it more for competition than for the recital. I don't, because in the recital I have to cha change my hair a lot more than at competition, so I might not use this tomorrow, but I'll still bring it anyway. Um, next I have I have two butterfly clips just in case I do have to do my hair over. I could like section my hair and clip it out of the way, so I have those clips for that reason. I actually forgot to wear in here to be honest, but that's why I have them in here. 
Um, I have deodorant because you gotta make sure you smell fresh all the time. Um, yes, it is a men's deodorant. I love, <laughs> I don't like women's deodorant because they're always the powder ones and I hate the powder ones. Or they have the liquid gel ones, but I keep getting lipstick on my teeth. But, um, I don't know, it feels weird because it's wet. I like these ones where it's like a gel bar. So it's not like, it doesn't clog your pores like the powder ones do. But only men's deodorant makes it like that, so I just buy men's deodorant. And it smells better anyway, so that's why I have that. I feel like every time people are question, or every time people see it, they question, like, why do you have men's deodorant? That's why. I just like that material, or not material, but I just like this form of deodorant. Next, I have body spray. Also, just to make sure you're smelling fresh, because it's hot. Like I keep saying, it gets really hot. And, you know, you feel sweaty and everything, so you just want to make sure you smell good. And then finally, I just have chapstick in here, because I just like to have chapstick on me. So the only other sections I have in this bag are these two pockets here. And there's nothing in this one. This is where I would normally put my phone so I could find it easily. But then in this one, all I have are some bobby pins. I only have a couple left, but I don't really need that many. Um, I just need them for one dance. We're wearing a headband. I just have to secure it with body pins to make sure the headbands don't fall off. And this should be more than enough, honestly. Because it's a pretty tight headband. And then I just have an extra hair tie. That's pretty much it. Well, it's not pretty much it. That is it. So that's everything that I carry around in my bag with me when I go to these events. Um, one more thing I forgot that I would have in here would be my, um, my team jacket. But since I'm not going to a competition, I don't have it in here because I don't need it. Because the recital is just with our school, so we don't need to represent our school. It is our school. So I don't have it in here for that reason, but normally I would. So the only other thing that I carry with me is this is my makeup. And I have everything that I put on my face, I just put in here. Um, honestly, carrying all this makeup is not necessary because for the most part, it does last throughout the day. But there's always something that you need to touch up and I never know what it is I'm going to have to touch up. So I just bring everything that I wore on my face. So um, I, sh I just did a video, like I said, showing you guys everything that's on my face. But in case you guys just want to, if you don't want to watch and just want to see what I'm bringing, I'll just show you guys what I have in here now. So it's just a little mini caboodle case. And... It just opens up like that. I don't want everything to fall out, but that's what it looks like. Um, well, I guess for this, I'll tilt the camera. But now I can't see if you guys are seeing it. Okay, so I'll just, I'll just stand up and show you guys. So here I have all the brushes that I use for my face. And I'm not going to go through everything individually just because... Just for the sake of timing in this video, I have all my face brushes here, and then all the brushes I use for my eyes are over here. And then if we go over to this side, I have um, the mascara that I use. I have lash glue because I do wear false lashes, which reminds me I need to put those in here because I don't have them all right now. But I do wear false lashes for the show. Um, I have my gel liner that I used, which is my Morphe gel liner. I have my um, my dip brow um, gel from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I hope I said her name right. I have my Wonder Pencil from NYX, which I use for my eyes and as a lip liner. I just have an e.l.f. Um, liquid liner in here just in case I need to touch on my eyeliner really quickly. Um, I could do the, it with liquid a lot faster than I can with the gel. Um, this is the brush that I use for the gel liner. This is my eye primer, which I'm sure I'm not going to need. I'm not going to reprime my whole face or anything, but I have that in there. I literally just did my makeup, and as I was done with it, I just threw it all in here. That's the only way I can make sure I don't forget anything. And then I have my brow trio kit right here, because I have the powders in there that I like to use for my eyebrows. And then here I have my illuminating stick for contouring, my concealer. Um, this is the lip color that I have on. And then this is just the blush that I'm using. And then down in here, this is the highlighter that I used, my bronzer, which is just a dollar store. Well, I think I got this from Dollar General a long time ago, and I still love it. It's a wet and wild bronzer. I just like it a lot. I have my face primer. Again, I'm not going to reprime my face, but I have it. This I'm probably going to keep using, my setting powder, because I feel like I'm going to have to keep, I'm going to be sweating my face off, so I might have to use that a couple times. And I have the foundation that I used and 
my concealer palette. And then most importantly, I have my eyeshadow palette that I'm using because we have to have smoky eyes. So I use my Naked Smoky Eye palette. And that's all of the makeup that I have in here. So that's everything that I have in there. Besides all of that, I also carry makeup remover wipes just, just to be safe or just my bottle of makeup remover and some cotton swabs. So I actually need to remember to put that in there right now. That's everything that I bring with me whenever I go to these dance events. So I hope you guys found that interesting in case you guys were ever curious because I do mention dancing a couple times in some of my videos. So in case you guys are wondering, that's what I bring when I go along to these events. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!